This tutorial video will demonstrate the newly released MT Manager 2019, part of the MT Software Suite 2019 update. We will quickly guide you through all the new or updated options, tools, and features in MT Manager 2019. MT Manager has an easy-to-use graphical user interface that allows you to connect and communicate with an XSense MTI motion tracker, as well as to configure and visualize its measurements. Let's start by connecting an MTI. In this case, we have connected an MTI 300, which is our high-end attitude and heading reference system. Using the Scan All Ports icon, we can quickly find our MTI. It will show up in the device list at the left-hand side. By clicking the drop-down arrows, we can find product-specific information, such as communication and filter settings. Alternatively, the Scan Single Port options can be used to find your device at a specific COM port and baud rate. All configuration settings can be found in the Device Settings window, which you can open by clicking the icon that includes a gear. Again, at the top of the Device Settings window, you will find product-specific information. The first tab that will be opened is the Output Configuration tab. Here you can choose the data outputs you would like to configure for your device. You can combine different outputs, as well as their output frequencies and data representations. You can also choose a preset from the Preset drop-down menu. When you are finished, click Write to Device at the top right of this window in order to store the configuration in the MTI's onboard memory. The Normal Output mode, which is selected by default, will configure the MTI output data using the XSense Xbus protocol. Alternatively, for the MTI 10 and 100 series, a string report mode is available. This allows the MTI to output various data strings, including common NMEA messages. Not all data outputs shown may be supported by your MTI product. For a full overview of supported outputs, please refer to the product's user manual. In the Device Settings tab, communication and filter-related settings can be configured. You can choose between various filter profiles, as well as additional filter features such as active heading stabilization and in-run compass calibration. If you would like to change the coordinate system of your MTI, you can apply rotation matrices here. Again, don't forget to save your settings by writing them to the onboard memory of the MTI. The Synchronization tab allows users to synchronize the outputs of your MTI with any other device. For example, you can configure the MTI to output synchronization pulses, or the MTI can be configured to respond to incoming trigger signals. Finally, the Modeling Parameters tab can be used to inspect the calibration parameters of the inertial sensors. Now that we have configured some of the outputs of the MTI, let's use MT Manager to visualize this data. The second row of icons contains various plot windows. From left to right, these are the 3D box view, which simply shows the orientation of the MTI in real time. The 3D orientation data view, which also visualizes the orientation of your MTI but now as individual signals in a graph. The inertial data view, which shows calibrated sensor data from your MTI's three-axis accelerometers, gyroscopes, and magnetometers. The status data view, which you can use to monitor the status of the inertial sensors and the filter, and the temperature view, which can plot the sensor-reported temperature in either Celsius or Fahrenheit. In addition, the following views are available for the MTI-7 and MTI-G-710, or GNSS-enabled devices. The Velocity View, which reports the 3D velocity of the MTI. The Altitude View. The Position View, showing the latitude and longitude. The Space Vehicle Information View, which will indicate the detected satellites and their signal strength. And finally, the UTC Time Lock. For development purposes, it may be necessary to communicate with the MTI on a lower level. In that case, the device data view will be a useful tool. As soon as you open this window, you can see a stream of data at the bottom of your screen. This is the data that is sent out by the MTI. You can easily configure and control the MTI using low-level commands in the same way a microcontroller would communicate with it. MT Manager is often used to record the measurements of an MTI during experiments. In order to start a recording, simply click the red dot. 
After performing your experiment, click the red dot again to stop the recording. Your recorded data will be available as an MTB file in the directory listed in your toolbar. Click the folder icon to load your recording into MT Manager. Upon opening the recording, we can choose to reprocess the data using the various filter profiles and settings we've seen earlier during this video. Once the log file is fully loaded, simply open a graph and click the play button to visualize your recording. Let's close this recording and go back to the live view of our MTI that is still connected. Various important features are available for testing in MT Manager. The orientation resets can be used to redefine the coordinate systems of your MTI. For example, the inclination reset can be used to redefine your sensor axis. As you can see, this command will directly redefine the sensor axis such that roll and pitch angles become zero. Using the store button, you can write the new configuration to the onboard memory of your MTI. Next to the orientation reset, you can find the representative motion tool. This tool can be used to recalibrate the magnetometers of your device in a quick way without the requirement for a PC connection. We will not discuss this feature in further detail here. A new addition to the 2019 version of MT Manager is the gyro bias estimation window. Using this window, you can help the MTI to quickly update its gyroscope bias estimates. The use of this feature is demonstrated in a separate tutorial video. We have reached the end of this tutorial video. If you need further help with MT Manager or the features demonstrated in this video, open the help window at the top of MT Manager. You will find links to documentation and our online knowledge base and community forum where you can get in contact with our support engineers. Thank you for watching.